Hey y'all, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, hey friend, I missed you. you. <laughs> no, I'm not cooking anything, but wait, don't leave, come back. I wanna talk about bringing abundance and positivity into your life. Although life has its obstacles and things that get in the way, y'all, we can control that. We can control the life that we have and we can make it the life that we want. I love helping people and I love positivity and I try to study ways to help bring more positivity into my life. Also, I know that this time of year can bring about a lot of sad emotions and negativity and even depression, you guys. Please try not to let the seasons control your emotions. Like, don't, don't do that. It's because we're lacking the vitamin D that we were getting from the summer. Not giving medical advice. Check your levels. Make sure your vitamin D is good. Go outside and ground yourself. We have this thing about us, and it's in our nature. We always think the worst. Instead of thinking the worst, why not try and shift our perspective on life and alter our internal reality really quick? I'm guilty of it, too, where when good things happen, you're kind of skeptical about it, like, hmm, but you expect bad things to happen like clockwork. That is not a good outlook on life. Take the negative aspect of anything that did not work out in your favor out of it because we don't know everything we don't know what the future holds for us so hoping and imagining the best outcome will help keep your heart light and less heavy okay don't don't give yourself these oh i should have did this oh i should have did that just take whatever lesson it is from that situation and use it moving forward we have got to stop using negative words, especially when we're speaking about ourselves or towards ourselves or our loved ones. Don't speak bad about yourself. Don't claim negative things over yourself because thoughts become things. And when you're putting that stuff out there, you're putting it into the universe. And we are very energetic beings, okay? So we can manifest negative things into our life. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, nothing good is going to happen. If you're saying it and you're thinking it over and over again, guess what? That's what's going to happen. And we don't want that. Girl, ain't nobody. If you're my friend, we're not doing that. And if you accidentally do that, say cancel because your brain does not know that you are being hypothetical. Or even if you're just joking around. Oh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm greedy. Oh, you know, I this, I that. Don't say it. Don't say it in the first place. Don't even joke around with it. If you do accidentally slip up and say something, just say cancel because your brain is going to say, oh, okay. They didn't mean that. They didn't. It was just a joke. Because if you don't say cancel, and I know you're like, it's just a word. But like I said, we are energetic beings and we're programming our brain, our mind with the words that come out of our mouth. So try to think about that before you speak. Even if it's like a joke, like I said, it, it matters. We are sentient beings. And so when we hear ourselves say those things about ourselves or to ourselves, we believe it. Your brain is going to say, okay, I'm a loser. Yeah, cancel, cancel straight off the bat. Do not accept that. Do not take that into yourself, okay? If people see your potential and they see positivity all around you, what are they going to do? They're going to cling to you. And if they're not in a elevated state or um, in that mindset that they want to do better for themselves, not just because you're doing good, but just for themselves, they can bring you down and they can drain your battery all the way down, leaving you depleted. You don't want that. You, you want people around you and in your circle that add to it. And I'm not saying, oh, you just need to use people. No, you need to have people that match your energy, that matches your aura, the things you want in life. Because y'all, believe it or not, I know it's an old saying, but you are who you hang with. You are who you hang with. And if you're around that friend that's always negative and, oh, girl, and gossiping, you don't, you don't want that. Because honestly... What they got going on and what so-and-so got going on ain't none of our business. We just trying to make it. And we want people around us that want the same thing. So positivity, light, good affirmations. And they don't have to kiss your butt. I'm not saying get friends that kiss your butt all day. But y'all y'all compliment each other. I got some people in my circle that do that for me, that, that help uplift me and I help uplift them. 
because you want that circle to just constant. It's like a, a power source. And if all of you guys are on the same page and you're constantly uplifting each other and bringing positivity and being there for each other when you guys need each other, it's only going to get more powerful. You guys are only going to go up. Honestly, there's no reason why everybody in your circle is not up there. The vibrations go high, especially when everybody's on the same page. So definitely be mindful of the people that you keep around you and people who you allow into your life. None of my friends can call me right now and off the top just have some drama. Nine times out of 10, we are saying to each other, do you have the emotional or mental capacity to handle my life trauma right now? And it's simple, yes or no. And we are honest with each other because that's what friendships are. You have to be honest with each other so that you don't have that hidden animosity or, oh, that disdain when they call you. Yeah, girl, I can handle it. And then they tell me, or I'm not in a good space right now. Can I call you later? Of course, girl, I got you. I'm here. Alter the way you think about yourself and handle situations even when you don't like them. Speak positivity over your life. Do not speak any negative things over your life or your loved ones or anybody around you because karma is a thing. It come back. And be mindful of the company that you keep. If you get annoyed when that phone rings and you don't like the name that pops up, that ain't your friend. And I'm not saying you always have to be in the best mood, but you can tell what cords have to be cut. Even if it's painful, you can love them from a distance. I'm all about mental growth and becoming a better person and helping y'all become better and we could become better together because I don't have all the answers. So if y'all have any more tips on how you like make your life easier or more positive and bring in more abundance, drop them below because I want to know. I will read them and I will try them because it's all love and growth over here, y'all. There's a whole energy shift happening. I don't even know if you guys are aware of that. And I don't know if you are like in tune with that type of stuff, but there is a big energy shift happening. So a lot of people are feeling a lot of things. It's normal. But what I will tell you, do not overextend yourself, especially for the holidays. You need to do what's within reason and within budget for yourself. Don't be discouraged if you can't go ball out on Christmas gifts. It literally is not that deep. Your mental clarity, your peace, your happiness means way more than anything you can buy for anybody else or yourself. Don't let people make you feel bad about something that you are not doing or you're not doing enough or you're not doing this. I'm going to tell you right now, some days getting out of bed is enough. I know firsthand that sometimes getting out of bed is the hardest thing that you've done all day. You only get one chance to live this life, at least the one that we know about, at least the one that we can remember. That's the only chance you got in this life. Don't waste it being depressed, being sad, being a people pleaser putting yourself in compromising positions for the sake of other people. Because I, I know people that are still paying for Christmas last year because they wanted to go above and beyond and buy things that they couldn't afford. Things, things that you can replace. You can't replace people. You can't replace peace of mind, okay? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe to my channel, y'all. And click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. You know what? I'm going to hug y'all. Because we Oh, you smell good. Is this soap? It's Raider Nation all day, baby. We got a new coach. We out here balling now. What you talking about, big homie? Man, you from Dallas. Baby, shut up. People don't know that. <laughs> shut up. I can say homie. Always hating on me. That, that's not cool, big homie.